So, uh, which leads us to the fact or to the question: Who you got winning Game Seven? I'm bringing the pack. I'm a roller with stars and I'm smoking on platinum. I'm on my eye on the prize, so I don't do distractions. I'm coming back. No, man. J. Lou with the fresh cut. Anyways. Yo, what it do? It's your boys, Juice and Lou. And we back here with another episode for y'all, man. You know? Mm-hmm. <sighs> Game. Game sevens, don't you like you love game? Don't we just love some game sevens? I don't know what it is, but you said the other night, you, you said something. We we watching the game. It's like I don't know what it is, but the Bucks have plus ten attributes at home. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Oh man. Yes, they that they're yet to lose at home. They've yet to lose. So Honestly, if the Bucks were like the first seed, they probably beat everybody. They're probably in the finals just because they can't lose at home. That's beside the point. That's beside the point. The Bucks have now tied the series up again, forcing a game seven against the Nets. Now from from I, I didn't really watch the game, but I I watched like snippets of it, mm-hmm. and it it was just it it was a it was a blowout, and it got close, and then they went on like a the Bucks went on like a ten zero run, and then never looked back. Yeah, it was crazy. It was crazy. Um, let me look at these stats. Let's break them down real quick. Mm. Read them. Read them to me, man. Chris Middleton. This the this this the thing. Everybody's circulating. It's circulating in the air. Giannis is a Robin. Is Giannis a Robin to Chris Middleton's Batman? I'm looking. I'm like, huh? Take Giannis off that squad and see who the real Batman is. That's besides the point. Stats. Chris Middleton in 42 minutes. 38, 10, 5, and 5 steals. On 11 for 16, shooting and 5 for 8 from the 3. That's insane. That's insane. Giannis in 41 minutes. 30, 17, and 3 assists on 12 for 20 shooting. Finally, he didn't shoot a 3. And, uh... I guess that free throw technique worked to a to a you know extent. Six for ten from the line, and uh, Drew Holiday, <laughs> forty two minutes, twenty one eight five and four steals, eight for twenty one from the field. Not the best shooting night, but he still contributed points. Uh, those three alone pretty much scored all the points. That's all you needed. That was Ben for the series. Yep, yep. And now we're looking at Brooklyn. KD in 40 minutes, you know, doing KD things. He he, he did what he could. 32, 11, and 3. 15 for 30, 50% on the dot. Not much you can do. Harden. I know you're still like, you know, you fresh off the injury, you know. Yeah, but I need more than 16 points from you, dog. Jeff Green wasn't here this time mm-hmm. to, to show up. He wasn't here this time. Not much you can, I mean, that's tough, bro. It's tough. 16, 5, 7, and 4 on 5 for 9 shooting. He only shot nine times. Guess who else shot nine times? Jeff Green and Joe Harris shot nine times. You're a superstar. And you're shooting the same amount of shots as role players. Let's be real here, James. I need 30 from you tonight. I need 30 from you. I need 40 from KD. Because you don't got Kyrie. Y'all got to make up for his points. Because it's looking like Joe Harris don't want to play basketball. 
It's looking like Landry Shamit don't want to play basketball. Blake Griffin, he hooping. It's looking like Jeff Green. He 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 you know, he up and down, you know. Mm-hmm. But you're pretty much a team of two people. So uh which leads us to the fact or to the question. Who you got winning game seven? <clears throat> You know who I got. <laughs> Brooklyn's doing it? No, no, no. Durantua is doing it. <laughs> Durantua is doing it. Oh, man. KD, listen to me, man. Up in Marlboro, 45 minutes away from me now. Oh, man, oh, man. You know the number I just said, 45? That's how many points I'm going to need from you. I mean, 45, 45, not 40. I need 45, at least 45. James Harden, I'm going to cut you some slack if they lose. I ain't about to lie. I told you. James Harden's out there playing. You know how in 2K he got an injury symbol under his name? He's playing. He's playing yeah. in. I, I'm going to cut Harden some slack this series. It's not a choking series like people have been saying in the past when he was with the Rockets. It's not a choke job for him. So if they lose, hey, that would be like another Lakers, I guess. And then we got to see. We, we have to see in the conference finals who's who do we think the favorite to win the championship would be. But for right now, game seven, it's in Brooklyn. Durantua, you got to show up. You got to. Like you said, Joe Harris not playing good. Landry Shannon. You do got. A presence of Jeff Green. I told y'all at the in the first round, not having him on the court against the Celtics was important. Because there would have been a sweep with him, in my opinion. But look at him now. He got him 27 points in game five. Now they have a chance to win game seven back at a crib in Brooklyn. Here's the thing. Anything can happen in game seven. <clears throat> Chris Middleton, he's averaging 30-plus at home in Milwaukee. And on the road, he's not averaging 30 plus. He's averaging around 20 on the road. So, first Middleton may decide to finally take his act from home onto the road, which would be scary hours for Brooklyn. And I would be upset, obviously. Mm. So, it's going to be tough. Or maybe one, one of Milwaukee's role players step up out of nowhere. Like, their bench has not been doing good this series. As good as they were against Miami, at least. They haven't been that good. Brook Lopez not shooting well. Neither is Bobby Porter. So Bobby Porter's not actually playing, really, either. Brendan Forbes, he's not shooting well, either. So, it, we seen, we seen this round. It's like the battle of the superstars this series. None of the role players are really playing that good. Aside from Jeff Green, I guess. He's not really a superstar on the Nets. So, and Blake Griffin here and there. But the Nets, I think the key to winning game seven, Giannis is going to get probably 30, 30. Yeah. Probably 30 and 10, at least 10. Giannis getting 30, for sure. I guess the key is make sure no one else goes up. You got to hold Drew Holiday under 15, Milton 18 and under. So what's that? That's like almost 70 points combined. No, not 70. 65-ish points from those three. And then on the other side, Katie, like I said, if you want to win, you're going to need 45. Because I, I, I doubt Harden. I, I don't know if Harden's going to get 20. It will be great if he could. But if someone else on the net, if Katie gets 40-plus and someone else on the net gets 20-plus, it's over. And that's one. If it's Joe Harris, maybe he decides to show up. I've been telling people he may show up for a 20-plus game, and I wouldn't be surprised. Okay. Uh, uh, if it's Jeff Green, if it's Blake Griffin, I just don't think it would be Harden because of his injury. But this series is a great series. One of the best second-round series due to health, obviously. 
Actually, all the second round series except for the Suns Nuggets are great. We got some two games tonight. That'll be really interesting. Mm-hmm. So, you know who I got. Who do you got, though? It's hard, man. It's definitely going to go down to the wire. Because it's like I said, the Bucks aren't playing good basketball. They're not scoring a lot of points. Everybody's shooting bad. Just the Nets are just playing worse. And injuries play a big role. That's the only thing. KD, he's getting his Harden. He just came back from injury, so he's not like normal. And then the role players are not showing up. What can you do about that? But back to what you said. You said if KD get 40 and somebody else drop 20, it's over. Right? Yeah, pretty much. Giannis is getting a guaranteed 30. I think we both can agree on that. He's getting a guaranteed 30. Mm-hmm. So if Chris Middleton goes for 30, is it over? For Bucks or Nets? For for the Nets. Is it over for the Nets in, in the Bucks' favor? If if not Giannis as everybody is everybody else in the Bucks for 60 don't plus? Score for 10. I don't know. Drew Holiday, he's putting up a lot of points, but he's putting up a lot of shots. He went one for ten from three. The, the, I don't know. His defense is, is good, though. His defense is really good. Four steals. I've also seen a stat that uh, when Drew Hall is on KD before game six, at least, it was he was shooting 70% on Drew Holiday. On Giannis, he was shooting around 50%, but he only took, like, six shots on Giannis in the whole series. On P.J. Tucker, it's Above 50% on the series. And on uh, the last defender was Chris Middleton was at 48% or 44. So, you know, KD's shooting very efficiently in all the shots he's taken. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's like, uh, this is definitely going to be down to the wire. And I'm going to definitely be watching. Definitely. Yeah. Now, will it come down to the last shot? Kawhi esque Philly. Hey man, I don't know. that was the last game seven buzzer beater. What it was, was the first one. Hey. Could it be another one, bro. Yeah, another one. That's tough. I don't know. I, this game has the potential. This series has the potential to be one of the greatest series of all time. And it's based off game seven, in my opinion. It's based off game seven, tonight. Just because of the injuries, I don't think so. Injuries, yeah. Unless someone, unless Katie drops maybe 60 plus, then it will be a great series. But Okay. I don't know, man. I honestly don't think it's a matter of the superstars. It's a matter of whose role players plays uh, shows up on both ends. So who you got winning? I can't go against Brooklyn at home. The home team. The home team. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, the home team, bro. I got to go with the home team. Now, <sighs> Oh, it's not tonight. I'm tripping. It's tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. Mm-hmm. But tonight, their potential matchup for the Eastern Conference Finals is playing tonight. Can they win tonight in Atlanta? Atlanta <laughs> to the Conference Finals, man. Oh, my gosh. Atlanta. The Hawks. Now, how would that series be? Because say the Brooklyn does move on, right? And the role players continue to struggle. No Kyrie. KD going to get his. Harden, I'm sure he'll be back. He's going to get his. I don't know, bro. Yeah, tough, tough. 
But uh, there's one thing. Orlando doesn't have a KD stopper. Like, I mean, that's, that's technically no team does. But, I really nobody has a KD stopper. I guess their best defender is because DeAndre Hunter's out with a knee injury. He's out indefinitely. So their best defender is either Tony Snell or Solomon Hill. And you know how that goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, we're going to see tomorrow night, and we're going to see tonight if the Hawks can do it. Shout but, out OKC, yeah. too. Oh, yeah, hey, OKC. More Another picks. Pick. More picks. We got a top five got? pick, 16 pick, 18 pick. This year's got, draft. He got Kimball Walker, which you're probably not going to keep. Look at that. Probably going to bundle him up. I miss you, Moses, though. Man, that man, Moses, man. That <laughs> boy was good. That boy is good. I'm sure that's the big man the Celtics need. They got Al Horford. Al Horford is back in Boston. They Joel and bead stopper. That's besides the point. Uh, that's going to wrap up this episode, you guys. Thank you for tuning in. You already know how it is, man. We we hey, 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 hey. we back on the football talks. Mm. And trust me, it's going to be a banger. Is it Lamar top 10? All right, let's stop the cap. Let's, let's stop the cap, man. I don't know why you just asked that question. But, hey, until then... Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. It's your boys, Juice and Lou, and we out of here. Peace.